Hi, this is Dr. Don, and I want to go over a problem from the homework. This has to do with using uh, the binomial probability table to find probabilities for various values of x in a number of binomial uh, distributions or binomial random variables. Um, I want to encourage you not to use the tables in this course. Um, you can do it, but it's time consuming. And I find people tend to take more, make more errors when they use the table than if they use technology, particularly uh, uh, StatCrunch for solving binomial random variable problems is extremely easy to use and fast. So let me show you here. We'll breeze through these six questions. I'm going to click on question help, open up StatCrunch. It takes a couple of seconds here to open. And I'm going to move this over here so we can we can see. Uh, the first problem says for x equal 4, find the probability of x equal 4 for binomial distribution with n, a binomial random variable with uh, n equal 10 for the sample, and the probability distribution of 0.3. Remember that that's all we need to use a calculator or to go into the tables is to know the sample size and also the probability. So I'm going to go into stat calculators binomial and we bring up our um, basic uh, dialog box for the binomial calculator and we're on the standard side right here and I want to put in my value of n which is 10 the same but my p is 0.3 and the first question, x equal 4. So I click on that box to set the operator to be equal. I want 4. Click on Compute. And we get a probability of exactly 4. That's why I added the red bar there on the uh, histogram um, of 0 0.200. And that's the answer they need there. The next one, b, it, remember to change that this time n is equal to 15 and p is equal to 0.6 and we need probability of less than or equal to 5. Click on compute and we've got our distribution again. We can see that uh, we've got those uh, discrete values of x less than or equal to 5 is 0 0.034 and that is the answer they have there. The next one, C, is with an N of 5 and a P of 0.5. So I put N equal 5, P is equal to 0.5, and I need uh, greater than 1. So I'm going to click greater than 1, click Compute, and there's our distribution. Uh, we've got uh, greater than 1 would be a 2, a 3, or 4, or 5. And the probability is 0.8125, which rounds to 0.813, which is the answer they have. The fourth problem is with an N of 15 and a P of 0.8. And this time it's for X less than 6. So I get the less than operator. I put in 6, click Compute, and I've got... Um, a value there of 0 .000, uh, which rounds to 0 .000, and that's the answer they have here. The next one is an N of 20. I hope you're getting this, this pattern down. 0 0.6 for the p-value. We need greater than or equal to 6, so I click that, that operator, and greater than or equal to 6, this distribution there, you can see we get 6 over here and we go all the way out to 20, um, is 0.998, which is the answer they have. And the final one is an, also an N of 20, but a P of 0.2. And it's X equal to 4. And click Compute, and we get 0.218, which is the answer they have there. Just so you'll know that those were all simple uh, test just for a, uh, a single value of X. But if you have a question where you're asked for, let's say, uh, what is the probability between two values? Here, if I, I leave the, uh, the N at 20, the probability at 0.2, 
and uh, it just offered up the probability of x being between 3 and 6 is 0.7. Uh, if I change this to 12 and 0.4 and 3 and 11, compute, whoops, what did I do there? Oh, it's got to be 0.4. I also have the decimal in there. So you can make typos. 0.4. Now, the probability of P being from 3 to 11 is 0.912 or 917. So you can use the between calculator if you ask for a between problem. So learn to use StatCrunch. It's very, very quick. Remember, all you had to do for binomial or any of these calculators is click on Stat, Calculators. There's the binomial. There's the normal that we use a ton. We'll later on get the t-distribution, the f-distribution, the chi-square distribution, and we can make a custom one. I think I showed you that in another video, how we can create our own custom calculator to make these problems go faster. So don't be intimidated by StatCrunch. It's very, very friendly and uh, almost everything you do, you either start with data or stat, and 95% of them start with stat. So um, jump in. Hope this helps.